Hi students, let us continue with the string library functions. So in the previous videos, I explained about the string copy and uh, string length. Now let us see the third library function, string n copy. So in the string copy, we are just copying the source string to the destination string. Now let us see what is the string n copy. So this function is used for copying n characters. So you have to be uh, remember uh, remember that we are using n copy string n copy. So n means here copying n characters of source string n characters of source string into destination string. So it's not copying complete source into the destination. Only the n characters of source string into destination string. And here also uh, you have to remember that the length of the always the length of the destination string. The length of destination string must be greater than. or equal to that of source string so always destination string should be greater than the source string that have to remember while you are using the copying uh, functions so n copy means only n characters of some particular the mentioned characters will be copied from source string into destination string now let us see the syntax for this Syntax is just like uh, the string copy, string n copy you have to mention and this is a destination string, the left side is a destination string, comma, source string and one more argument you have to be entered that is the n, n indicates the number of characters that have to be copied from source string to destination string. So all these functions and the syntaxes were uh, a simple it's completely based on the name so uh, don't be confused string copy means only from source to destination whereas suppose if n is mentioned means n number of characters that are selecting from source and are, those are copying to destination so let us see the program then you will understand what exactly it is program hash include stdio.h and uh, hash include I am including the string.h library function because string n copy is present in this library function main I have to declare two strings a 50 comma b 50 so now I have to write the printf printf enter a string so that string I have to read from the keyboard so I'm just writing gets a so instead of scanf I'm writing gets a so this is also one type of function that is used to read the string for reading the string I'm using the gets a now write this string n copy here you have to mention the b string comma a string how many numbers you want how many characters you want to copy that you have to mention here suppose i want to copy th three characters from a to b close that and you have to be declared uh, b of three b of three means the at the fourth position means you have to see to the compiler at runtime means you have to say to the compiler that after four, three characters, it should be a null character. Means it ending the, it indicates the end of the string. End of string. At which position? B of 3. B of 3 means fourth position. Let me write here. So here H, E, L, L, O is the 
uh, string whatever uh, it is a source string a and the null character is there now the b is the destination string so only three characters has to be copied this 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 so h e l and the last one should be null character has to be there so this indicates b of 0 b of 1 b of 2 and b of 3 so that's why we are declaring b of array of 3 is null character indicates the end of the string so only here three characters are copied h e l and the last one should be the null character that you have to be mentioned here okay string copy b comma a comma three characters only three characters h e l and the last should be null character so these two statements are important while you are writing the string and copy and that you have to be print on the screen just just simply write the printf copied string is equal to percent ls comma b get ch and close the main program then what will be the output here enter a string hello okay copied string is equal to h e l only three characters so it is also used and one more uh, thing is it is also used for extracting substrings so what it means what is extracting substrings so the string and copy syntax is also used for extracting substrings so let us see what is this extracting substrings let me take one example so here i am taking the character and the string name is the result comma 10 uh, it's array consists uh, means 10 characters have can store in the result and s1 of 15 so here jan 10 uh, and I'm 2010. So this I declared here. So let me take this is 20. So result of 20 as one because the destination string should be uh, greater than the source string. So result of 20 as one is a, a source string. So that I already declared that has to be copied only n strings n strings. So here we are talking about the extracting a substring rather than from starting to ending i want to copy the substring means middle i want to copy so that indicates is extracting substring so here you have to mention string n copy in the syntax you have to write result is the destination string comma ampersand s1 of 4 so what it indicates it indicates the at that particular address so so far I have said that no need to write the ampersand symbol for the strings when you are reading the data uh, or if you want to store the data in that particular memory location for integers and float values you have to mention the ampersand symbol but in the strings you are no need to mention I already said but here why I am mentioning actually if you mention that it indicates the starting address is a base address so already the strings are always if you didn't mention anything it occupies a base address but now here i want to uh, call from the middle so that's why i'm mentioning the ampersand ampersand s1 of 4 means from a particular memory location from 4 to i want to copy only two two characters from the string so that I will explain here. Just see. Don't be confused for the, uh, by seeing this syntax. So this is the S1 string. This is a source string. So the source string whatever I mentioned here is Jan. J-A-N 1 0 2 0 1 0. And the null character. So this is a source string. 
now i want to copy the substring of the source to the uh, destination string result so what it's saying ampersand s1 of 4 so you have to select from the fourth location from fourth location to only two characters from fourth to two characters so this is one and this is two only these two characters will be copied one zero and the null character so this is the meaning of this string copy result ampersand s14 means from fourth location to only two characters i have to copy this is indicates the number of characters you have to be copied so that is only two characters one zero so the result will be the output output for this is result is equal to one zero only these two characters will be copied so this is about the string and copy thank you